of those Who started with me at the bottom Stayed out till I came up Stay loyal, never push the We made passionate 
gloves. And it was like a strap. No, we didn't use a strap. And honestly, when I have sex with a girl, I don't really like to like, I haven't been with somebody that actually, I've been with one girl and it was like uncomfortable. And then I thought like, the bitch had an old girlfriend. <laughs> Take your man again if I wanted to, Molly the maid. So I'm like really hoping because she was like, and then this is the thing. Studs be taking their fucking strap too serious. This bitch had the nerve to pull out a plastic house when we put a condom on it. Well that let me tell you something. You can't get my friend caught an STD from a strap before. So she she did the right thing for the condom. It makes sense, but I'm thinking like, I always thought, and this is so, and this is ignorant because I didn't know, but I always thought with a new bitch comes a new strap. Like, I don't know why. I mean, because it's just like a guy, a guy can't put a new strap on, but it's at the same time, like, damn. So, I told her yes, though, because the fact that she said, do you want me to use a condom, kind of thinking like, okay, and then come to find out they were her girlfriend. But anyway, they yeah, like, that thing really they thing. No, this one, she moaned it in my ear. I'm sitting there like, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck did you roll it for? I don't want y'all to come for me. <laughs> oh, I don't know what, I didn't know what she was, I think it was more about her pleasure than me. Yeah, they, home. yeah, that's what turns them up. So I was like, okay, cool. But anyway, it was beautiful for like a week. And then Valentine's Day came. And I would love to sit here and tell you this girl story that she, Took me out of town, flew me out, took me to a hotel, put rose petals on the bed, got me my favorite cake, a carrot cake, put I love you, will you be my girlfriend, and bought me my first Chanel sandals, and as well gave me $500. It's not gonna lie. No, I can't tell you that, because that bitch left me for a nigga on Valentine's Day. Wait, wait, wait. She left me for who? She left me for a nigga. Wait, and this is wait. a real Story. You can ask my wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. She left me for a nigga. She looked at more like the nigga in the relationship. That's how I'm confused. But she, she, but the thing about seeing is they can't flip the switch. They can't. So I see, and then the crazy part was I used to see them doing videos together. When she was doing videos, it looked like she was just chilling with the guy. She's smoking them black, you know what I'm saying? She chilling. But then on Valentine's Day, she got here and called some thank you, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know I could be with a nigga still in my bitch. I was just like, <laughs> damn, I can't even go you to him and be with that. And I was like, about to be him on some woman to woman shit. Like, I don't know what you know. <laughs> but this is my woman. Yeah. Um, that, but it's like, how the fuck am I supposed to be with this nigga? And you're like, bitch, that's my bitch. That's my bitch. And it's like, what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got so good to buy a nigga. I got my girl to buy a nigga. A nigga. A nigga. And y'all never even had the nerve to tell me she just posted on Snapchat. And I was like, wow, dot, 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 you got me fucked up. She left me on scene and pro proceeded to go on her date. So that was my first encounter with a girl. But I was like, oh, oh my God. Yes. Oh my, bro, like, yes. But I didn't really care about her that much because after I found out that I had that secret down there, it was like, mega pussy, you lying. <laughs> She won't. You, you, 
no gunny sis. Thank you though. Appreciate it. Y'all just see this video. Just to hear this quick one. Look, we just playing about the last thing, Ken. Look, Ken, so good. I was back in, it was a few years ago. <laughs> Not the first thing y'all think, but right. it's a few years ago, probably even started YouTube. I had a dealings with this girl. She was like a tomboy. Ooh. I don't want to say a stem, I don't want to, definitely not a stud, but definitely not a fib either. Right. She was like a tomboy. She was the more dominant one, like she dressed a little boyish, but she's also like girly, got a chance. Y'all, so, mm, let's start from the beginning. She made me feel like, okay, so, I don't even remember how we started talking. I think it was on Instagram. But she was cousins with one of my close friends. Like, they were blood cousins. So, I think that's how we knew each other. So, I remember I was in New York at this time, or whatever the case may be, and that's when we started texting, started talking. And she made me feel so special, y'all. Like, I couldn't wait to get back to Oakland to link her. Like, oh my God, excuse me. <laughs> We was texting, we was playing, she was sending me like sexy videos, not sexy videos, like, and she had like nigga tattoos and shit, I don't know. Oh, she was just, so she was like doing videos, singing songs and shit like that, and I was just like, oh my God, I cannot wait to get back to open my she, I've never felt like this for a girl, like, I, it was like, y'all. Different. It was different. Yeah. And I remember when I landed back in Oak Lane from New York, um, we was on the phone for like, I think I was in Oakland for two days before I linked her. So we was on the phone for hours, like we would fall asleep on FaceTime, wake up. That was the day. That was the day. I'm like, wake up 10 hours still on FaceTime. Yes. Waking up and still getting dressed on FaceTime. Do that? No, people do not do that. We don't do that no more. Is Nobody getting older? older? I think what? so. I think so. Do you the younger generation do it? I don't think they got it like us. Cause y'all remember yeah. when school, we used to write each other's notes? Like, well, Chastity differ, what period, first period, date and time. Oh my god. Like, y'all remember when we used to look up like that? They don't do none of that. I used to write notes at elementary school. No, it was middle school. And I was in trouble. Elementary school, no, elementary school. I was in trouble right now. I was like, I used to write notes in my little boyfriend class. Like, I love you. Yes! And it was like, I was like, that's there. No, pass it. Oh my god, I remember this day. Okay, anyway, y'all, this is back in the day when we were on FaceTime for hours. I don't know if I could do that, but when I was younger, we did. So we were going to for hours, and then when I finally linked her, y'all, hmm, finally linked her, y'all, we was kissing for hours, like, we didn't do anything like freaky dicky yet, but we yeah. just kissing for hours, like, she gave me a big ass hickey on my neck, that's when hickey was in. Yeah. Most of you give me hickey, now you got to see me, because what did you, I thought you gave me hickey where nobody can see it, but don't give me no hickey on my neck. But she gave me hickey, I gave her hickey, y'all, when I tell y'all, the vibes was just immaculate. there, the vibes was immaculate, like, I was so in love, like we loved each other. So next time around, I was there and kind of like living with this girl. Like I stayed at her house for like a whole week. I was even think, talking about moving in, this and that, knowing she lived with her mom. Girl, it was getting real. She didn't die about that queen. That was my girlfriend. Like, that was my girlfriend, yeah. What was that? Girlfriend and girlfriend. So our first time doing a little freaky eeky. <laughs> This is my first time eating a twat, and I made her squirt. I didn't know what it was either. I made her squirt. I didn't know what it was, but I didn't let her do it in my mouth. And I just kept... <laughs> Y'all. Because <laughs> if I show you this twat, if I show you this twat. She did what she did, and we kept... Mm, yeah. Yeah. What I wanted to do was scissor, because I like scissor, but yes. she didn't want to do that. Why do we even think it came out? I, I get it, because you know, coochie juices and stuff uh, like that. But my thing is, if we eat each other out for our really? now, the difference, why can't we bump and grind? I'd rather scissor than get fucked by the shirt. Yes! Two I, 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 if, I, if I really just want to have some penetration, I will go with a man. man. Like, I really just love women for women. I love their boobs. I love their butt. Like, I love, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to do the other thing. But she didn't want to do that. So we'll only like finger each other and little stuff. Eat each other out. Like, just stupid stuff. Like, ugh. But that was my girl. That was my babe. Like, we was rocking. Now, how we stopped rocking was weird. Like, she just like, we just stopped texting all of a sudden. It was weird. Like, just stop texting. She, this one, Facebook was hot. She would make like statuses on Facebook, like saying little stuff about me, but also about being single. And we'll start arguing. Like, the way we broke up was weird because we didn't technically say, like, oh, we, we're done. It just, I found out on social media and then she just. Yeah, I just fell off. Yeah, it was just weird. We just fell off. And then 
she started dating a guy. Damn. So, yeah. And they're still together to this day. He took her virginity because she's a virgin. And, yeah. Started dating a dude and they're in love. It's been like five years. Damn, how does it feel to know that you're not the person for five years? Um, I don't give a fuck. Because, like, bitch, you ain't got nothing. I don't care because, like, I've grown through the situation. I, I'm still bisexual, but I'm more experienced with men. I like girls too, but I like bad bitches like me, like mm -hmm. pretty, pretty girls. Yeah. So what you feel like with your sexual experience, do you feel like with females, it's one of those things was like, we get drunk, we have sex, and we leave the emotions away, or mm -hmm. how do you feel? I, I feel like when I get drunk, I get real like, okay. gay, mm -hmm. like, but I still would date a female. Drug makes it more lit, but it's not, I'm not one of those girls like, oh, I'm drunk, I'm just gonna have sex with a girl, girl, and that's the only time. Tomorrow, I'm not dating more. Like, me, I actually like girls, and I would like be intimate with a girl, I would take a girl serious, but as far as being in a relationship, you would never see my relationship with a girl. You, the only way you can like girls is if you truly lesbian. They always question bisexual. bisexual females, and I hate that. You can't tell a female, like, I believe that a man can be bisexual. No. Now, you can, I believe it. I believe a man can like women and still want to get dick. You can't do it with me, but that's your preference. Do what you want to do. But I have actually seen men who be like, damn, that's a fine-ass nigga, and then be like, damn, that's a fine-ass bitch. Now, however, you would never, you know, float your boat. Cool. But you can't question what they like. You don't know what's on their heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see a fine ass nigga right now be like, damn, he finally fucking in to get another bitch and be like, damn, I won't lie. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's true. But so y'all gotta stop man. Yeah, you can't, and then just stop questioning bisexual people, period. People can like more than one, just like y'all bitches be liking more than one nigga, or you niggas oh. be liking more than one bitches. Like, stop questioning people. That's the thing, like, when I had that whole situation going on on YouTube with another female, I was like, people were like downplaying and stuff, like, oh, she's not really, she's bisexual. It's, you you can be bisexual. I've been here that they, in the LGBT community, they look down upon bisexual mm -hmm. people, and I don't know why. It's okay to like, but if you're lesbian, you just like, uh, women, if you're gay, like men, cool. But it's okay for someone to like in both. It doesn't mean they're confused. It's just we like both. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not bi bi curious. What do they call it? Bi curious. Bi -curious. Yeah. No, that's it's okay to like both. So if you're bisexual out there and you're even questioning yourself because what other people say, it's okay. It's okay to like both. It's Period. normal too. If that's you know. What you like? That's what you like. Some some people like to see when it's with titties and asses, and some yeah. just want to see niggas with dicks. Yeah. Oh well. It's just a flip. With me, I'm just more experienced with men. Mm -hmm. I've dated men. I had sex with uh, more men than women, and I'm more. I be more attracted to men too. Mm -hmm. I'm still attracted to women, but it doesn't mean I'm not bisexual. Exactly. Like I would be in a club and see a girl and be like. No, Keanu will be the first to say that's a badass bitch for her. Before I say a, a nigga fire nigga. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I really? If I'm in the club, I peep a bad female before I peep a fire nigga. And then, too, one thing I noticed about Keanu, when Keanu goes to the club, it's never gonna be a situation where you see Keanu more with niggas than bitches. Keanu wanna tell a nigga, it's too many niggas, where are the fine bitches? bitches. Like, she <laughs> wanna say that. Bring the bitches, I need fine bitches around. Yeah. I don't wanna be around hella niggas. Like, mm -hmm. Keanu the first to say that. If any girl who's only strictly dicking will tell you she wants to be, especially an uh, insecure ass bitch, they would wanna be in a room filling me in by themselves. Yeah, so, yeah. that attention I can't be around hella niggas. But, but Keanu, what a fine ass bitch is that? It's too many niggas. Like, that's Keanu. Big <laughs> Purr, and that's on Big Cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's no, what you call it? What's a mega thing? Mega person. That's on Mega. That's on Megatron. <laughs> Megatron. Mega person. Mega person. <laughs> so, make sure to do a big thumbs up. All of y'all guys like our story time. We trying to just, you know, bring something new. Something grown. You know, something grown and sexy for the kids or whatever. So, you know, leave them thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and her channel. Drop those in the front. Also, talk about, you know, whatever y'all want to do. Conversation to talk about your first time. Yeah, your first time. Boy, it's your first time with a guy. When you're your first time with a girl. Yeah. Mm. Talk about what you want to talk about. Period. Yeah. <laughs> and without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. My